Yes, sir. Here we go with the latest collabo from Krispy Kreme. And I got to say, the presentation for these all-new Reese's Remix Donuts look really, really nice. And I got to say, not only do they look nice in the box, they look pretty nice in the case as well, as you're probably seeing up on screen here right now. So talk about a sugar overload, right? These definitely look like they're off the chart in that department, but I have a feeling the flavor is going to be pretty killer on these. So stay tuned because I've got the full lineup, all three of the Reese's Remix Donuts up next here on the channel. I'm Ian K, and you're about to peep this out. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. Oh yeah, nice presentation on this one, guys, especially that one in the very middle. I'm probably going to start off with that one first, guys. But again, very, very nice in the looks department, and the aroma is smelling pretty sweet. So, like always with these multi-donut reviews, what I'm going to do is basically take a bite of each of them to give you the breakdown, as I always do. And in between bites, I'm going to go for a little palate wash with some green tea before I get into the next donut. So, a lovely situation I think I'm about to get into here, guys. So, let's start off with the main one here in the middle. This is called the Reese's Outrageous Donut, and I gotta say, this is looking pretty nice. All right, so very simply what this one is, is one of their original glazed donuts that's dipped in Hershey's milk chocolate icing and topped with mini Reese's pieces that's then finished off with a Reese's peanut butter sauce and salted caramel icing. And guys, I gotta say again, a very lovely situation in this presentation department. Of course, this one really kind of represents the Reese's brand nicely because you have those pieces on the very top. So ET phone home, we're gonna get into this one here right now. Let's give this a shot. It's the all new Reese's Outrageous Donut here at Krispy Kreme's, the collabo with Reese's. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Lays goodness right away. And there come the pieces. That's pretty nice. It's subtle though. And what I mean by subtle is the peanut butter flavor on this one. It's more of a glazed donut showcase, and that's fine because you're getting some decent flavor there on top of the Hershey's icing on the very top there. But of course, with the Reese's Pieces, that flavor begins to come through at the end. But again, very basic on this one, but still pretty tasty. But hey, aside from that light flavor coming up on the back end, I do like a little bit of the crunch this one has because of those Reese's Pieces. And again, it does present pretty nicely with that nice little peanut butter sauce drizzle. So very tasty. All right, let's wash the palate before we move on to round two. Very nice. All right, guys, feast your eyes on this monstrosity. This is looking pretty nice. What we've got here is the Reese's Salty Sweet Crunch Donut. A very nice presentation in what's described as a shell donut that's pumped with Reese's peanut butter cream filling that's then dipped in Reese's peanut butter icing, drizzled in Hershey's milk chocolate icing, and then finished off with sea salt praline pretzels. And if you ask me, that's going to be the wild card because this one definitely has a lot going on on the top as well as on the inside. Take a look at that puncture wound right there, guys. That thing is pumped in there with the good stuff. So yeah, let's not waste any more time with this one, guys. It's the Reese's Salty Sweet Crunch Donut here at Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this one out. Mmm, way more peanut butter flavor with this. That cream is nice. Yeah, the sea salt praline pretzels are the wild card with this one on top of that cream on the inside. This is an absolute standout and it's very hard to bite into, guys. Naturally, the dip goodness that you're seeing on the very top there, that Reese's peanut butter icing, goes a long way with this one. And overall, the donut itself is very fresh. This one is definitely delivering that Reese's flavor and the peanut butter is off the chart with it. Very nice on this one. Yeah, this one looks to be an early favorite already, guys, because the peanut butter flavor is really standing out. The cream makes a difference with this one on top of those praline pretzels. That all salty action that I'm getting with that, the crunch on top of it as well, is a lovely situation. Very nice in this particular one. All right, one more palette wash before we move on to round three. <sighs> nice and clean. And guys, here we go. Feast your eyes on this one. Looks like another original glazed donut type of situation. It's the Reese's Salty Sweet Crisp Donut. And I gotta say, this one has something unique to it, guys. What this basically is, is an original glazed donut that's dipped in Hershey's milk chocolate icing and topped with, believe it or not, potato sticks, a drizzle of milk chocolate icing, and then it's finished with Reese's peanut butter sauce and a dollop of Reese's peanut butter cream filling on the very top there, as you can see. Very nice, guys, but again, Potato sticks, that's definitely a first for me having something like this on a donut. And probably I think for Krispy Kreme having an offering that has that. That is really unique and definitely different. So let's give this one a shot. It's the Reese's Salty Sweet Crisp Donut here at Krispy Kreme. Let's peep this out. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Wow. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, this one absolutely rocks, guys. It's right in between being kind of light and being heavy because of the cream on the very top. But those potato sticks make such a difference with this one on top of the regular glazed goodness. So it's a little bit more flavorful than the Reese's Outrageous Donut, even though they have the same base with the original glaze. The fact that you're getting those potato sticks as well as the dollop of cream to add even more peanut butter flavor is making this one stand out very nicely. It works very, very well. And I gotta say, it's a real standout as part of this three donut collection. Yeah, pretty surprising on that one, guys. But again, I am loving the overall combination of these three together right now. It's a lot of fun to check out. And considering this is actually, I think, the second time that they've done Reese's, at least for me here on the channel, it's going to be the second time. The very first time was with their original filled version that they launched a few years ago. You're most likely seeing my review up on your screen here right now. Definitely take a look at that variation. But this one, I got to say, these three are more involved. So a beautiful situation and a very nice combo of goodness. As you can see, I've got all the Pac-Man lined up for you here right now. They work very nicely, but I have to say again, that very last one that I checked out seems to be the most unique out of the three, but guys, all of them deliver. And I have to say again, a very nice combination with this collabo between Reese's and Krispy Kreme. It's definitely worth a trip to go check these three out. All right, so as for the ratings, starting off with the Reese's Outrageous Donut, that one's gonna get a pretty decent seven out of 10. I think it's the most basic out of the group and you're getting a lot of great Krispy Kreme flavor in it, naturally because the base is the original glazed. But guys, that really is the predominant flavor on that one. The Reese's is more of the afterthought in terms of flavor and even with that light peanut butter sauce, you're still getting more glazed flavor of the regular Krispy Kreme. Not a bad thing, but again, the most basic of the three. As for the Reese's Salty Sweet Crunch Donut, that one's gonna get a rock solid eight and a half out of 10. Beautiful peanut butter flavor across the board with that one, guys, and the combination of the sea salt praline pretzels on the top added just the right amount of extra flavor and crunch to the overall package, but that cream on the inside is the major wild card to combine with that, and it works extremely well. All on the inside of a very fresh shell donut. How bad could that possibly be, right? And the presentation was pretty cool on it as well. And finally, the Reese's Salty Sweet Crisp Donut. That one pretty much ran away with it, guys. That's a solid 9.5 out of 10. A beautiful situation across the board with that one, and it's right in the middle of being between light and heavy with a little bit of that cream on the top to really pump up the peanut butter flavor across the board. And again, the combination of those potato sticks on top of it worked extremely well. It's a basic glazed donut, but again, more peanut butter flavor compared to that original Reese's Outrageous version. This one is really the one to try first, if you want my opinion. A beautiful situation and a nice way to finish out this collection. Pretty tasty. All right, so do me a quick favor like always. Drop those comments down below. Let me know out of these three, which do you think is gonna be your personal favorite of them? And if you've given all three a shot, which really delivered for you and why? Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Hey, thanks for checking out this review, guys. But just in case you didn't see the one I did before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.